What's going on, you guys? Ethers, Mystical Child here, coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys. And whenever you see this reading, hopefully it's useful to you. Whether you're gonna watch it for gossip or drama, aka gossip, different way of saying it, or some information, hopefully it's useful to you. The title today is Why Is This Happening to You? The title is gonna say, Why Is This Happening to Me? Probably. No, I'll probably say, why is this happening to you? So I'm going to just look into what situation you're going through right now. And going to figure out why is it happening to you. And see what you can do about it. So take what applies, leave the rest. Timestamp going to be in the description box and message box. And shout out to you guys for coming through, watching the channel, supporting the channel. And I thank you guys. Visitors, returning visitors, same message. And what's going on with you guys? So, um... Yeah, we have three piles here. This is a new um, deck. I did one reading with it on my other channel. So if you see a, a, a reading with this shirt on, and yeah, it's my other channel. So for pile one, this is the deck. For pile two, this is the deck. Now for pile two, I'm going to forewarn you. This deck here is a little rough around the edges. It's like, it's like, yeah, all type of stuff could come out of this deck. For the good, for the bad, it get, this deck gets wild. And then for pile three, this is this deck. So, yeah. So, meditate on your piles and or your pile. And then I'll see you in pile one. Okay, pile one. If you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. And when you see this reading, hopefully this will give you some clarity in your situation and what you're going through. The title today is, Why Is This Happening to Me? A.K.A. You. So, before I start your reading, I pulled out a card for the um, doors that I'll be using that I haven't used in a while. So, I pulled one out to give you an extra message. So, it says, Palmistry. It says, Fortune and Tarot. Collective destiny. The palm lines form birth tells the sacred of palmistry. Learn to listen to your intuition. So some of you could know about palmistry. Some of you could read palmistry. But basically, if you're not into palmistry, it's telling you to pay attention to your intuition. So first card out is facade and beliefs. And then the second card out was epiphany and breakthrough. So, it seems like what you guys are going through is something to do with fake beliefs. You're starting to understand or come into a realization because the epiphany and breakthrough is here. You have an epiphany that the beliefs that you have or the belief that you was raised with isn't helping you or is hindering you. Some of you are coming to a realization of this. Some of you are suddenly being awakened to this, a.k.a. Uh, awakening some of you are having an energy shift or you need to have these things if you're not having these things now some of you could be going through this now some of you could have gone through this and some of you will be going through this in the future because everybody's on a different timeline but for those two cards to come out it seems like something with culture or traditions actually facing yourself and seeing that it's not working for you. Some of you wear masks and you know you're putting on a pretense. Some of you are going through a lot of emotional turmoil behind this. Your emotions could be very choppy right now. Some of you, if you are around bodies of water, some of you believe, believe in this and it's not like a, if you believe anything. Cer certain cultures do this. If, in fact, you're going through this and you need help with this, you should go into the ocean. If you know, you know. So I'm going to move on from there. Um, what clarified this facade is clinging, depths, and boundaries. And it's quite fitting because the song that's on right now is Night Nurse. And this song is about somebody that's lovesick. They don't need a doctor. They need a person, and they need their person. And this person is the only one that can quench what they're going through. 
And then with this clinging and obsession here, it's kind of just like, it's an extra confirmation. Somebody could be um, a Scorpio or Aries or a Libra or Taurus, but somebody's um, going through a lot of turmoil, whether it's you guys or a cross watcher. It's like somebody's obsessed and they're holding on. You guys are holding on to somebody's energy or somebody's holding on to your energy and they are drowning in their feelings. They're drowning. Some of them are seeing that the way that they were thinking and believing before they had the breakthrough or the epiphany, that this really haven't helped them. This didn't bring any value because now they hear stuff in boundaries with this situation because it seems like you and this person is in boundaries. There's boundaries up. Some of you don't live next to each other or there's like a real borderline that like have y'all separated or if y'all around each other it's just you would think there's a boundary there because you're not talking it's like there's been lines drawn in the sand basically is what I'm saying now in the middle of this is tolerating abuse but before I go to the tolerating abuse well no I'm gonna I'm go to the tolerating abuse first and it's some this situation somebody is tolerating abuse somebody is like really hurt this is like the Five of Cups energy. Somebody is drowning in their emotions. Somebody's like really devastated here. And then there are some that's like just clinging on to the memories, reminiscing. Then you have others that's in the beginning of this realizing like, oh shit, what did what I do here? So it's different levels of this here. It says any kind of abuse is not okay. You deserve someone who will treat you well. So there's someone here that was abusing you. And then it's like giving too much. It says you are depleted because you are given too much you need to balance no it says you need a balance of give and take so i'll read that over because i was like what the hell i thought it was like an arrow but it says giving too much so it says you are depleting yourself because you're given too much you need a balance of give and take so it seems like the situation is a one-sided situation and it's a courtship here and then it's a thought here so somebody is in thought about how they breadcrumb somebody in a relationship and they are devastated by this thought. They're starting to have to look at themselves in a mirror. And that's like kind of like very tough for a lot of people to do in life, to look at themselves in a mirror and accept that whatever went wrong here, it was their fault. And now all they left with is spying, clinging, and obsessing. So the title is, Why Is This Happening to Me? This is happening to you because you was a false person. You wasn't a real person. You didn't treat this courtship as it should have been treated. Somebody's birthday could be um, April 16th or July 4th. But then you have the star here. And with the star here, somebody could be Aquarius. So somebody needs hope and inspiration right now. Because some of them are really hurt. And again, I explained some are just like... It's different levels of this. It also says divine timing. So it says trust divine timing. Love arrives when it's meant to arrive. So some of you, this is already over. The cycle is ended for you. With the divine timing here, the universe like kind of like intercepted this. Because it could have started off very romantic. Something that was supposed to be. But it wasn't brought to fruition because of all the breadcrumbing and all of the being in, being a false person, not showing one's true emotions. It says your hope and optimism are a powerful love magnet for you right now. So some of you who are like at the end of this and open to calling in new love, you are manifesting new love, but in divine timing, it will happen for others of you. It's, it's the toxicity. Some of you were not compatible, and some of you this was just a lust thing. Some of you this was... F um not meant to be it was forbidding anyway because this person was non-committal some of them was emotionally stunted they couldn't give you what you wanted and you expected too much for this person and you invested too much in this person knowing that it was one-sided and some of these people that you was um dealing with whether it's you guys i'm talking to a cross watcher they was always with boundaries up so they wasn't open anyway so some of you dove deeper and deeper and deeper in the situation and feeding it thinking that this person would 
open up and respond, but no, they not. And they didn't. And this seems like, again, like a toxic situation. And toxic situation was definitely draining your energy and your worth. So some of you are now questioning your worth. Some Whoever's feeling this way, balled up like this, it is devastated. You're now questioning your worth and you're draining your energy behind some of this. But such is life. You're going to have to go through this. And I'm not saying it like cold like that. But yeah, you're going to have to get through it. You're going to have to. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Divine time and the star lets you know there's light at the end of the tunnel, but now you're going to have to go through this and you're going to kind of have to learn through this because the universe brought this to you for, for a reason. It's a lesson. Somebody was cheating. Now they crying. Okay. So let's, um, let's, let's see what's going on. Clarify this courtship. Why is this courtship here? And, um, the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is all about something being a uh, being passionate, a, a relationship. It could be about jobs and stuff like that too. But this is a relationship. Ace of Wands, it was passion. It was a lot of passion. It was a passionate courtship that went no further. Why is this person the son? Somebody had a child in this relationship. Or somebody cheated on their baby mother and now the baby mother don't want them back because this person like to be out there giving out their passion and somebody's not feeling that. Or this person act like a child and this relationship wasn't mature enough and didn't step up to the plate. The initial C, M, and E could be important. Why is this person still clinging on to the situation? The Ten of Swords, because somebody feels devastated. When I said this is like the Five of Cups, you could say it's the Five of Cups and Five of Swords together. Somebody's really devastated behind this. But somebody here tolerated this abuse. So now they're really broken down behind this. Wow. Um, hold on. Clarify the thoughts. Why is these thoughts here? What power one needs to know about these thoughts? The lovers is here. The lovers is like the courtship card. Some of y'all could have been in an interracial relationship, or some of y'all could have been one light skin, one dark skin. Some could have been in a third party relationship. A, a what they call that polyamorous? Because this is three people. I'm about to say this is not the same person hand right here. It's a woman's hand, a man's hand, and somebody else's hand. So, yeah, some of y'all could have been in a polyamorous relationship. The Knight of Cups in reverse, and then the Four of Swords in reverse. I don't know. If it, this is wild. This has come to the light that somebody here likes polyamorous relationships. Somebody have a baby mother, and the baby mother could be hurt, like, with the Knight of Cups in, rever in reverse, Knight of Cups is somebody is emotionally immature and somebody is mentally unstable as well. And somebody cannot, um, somebody's not putting no more energy into this relationship. This just popped out. The justice, and this is justice. Because justice is like you have to pay for your actions. It's like a cause and effect. So somebody is going through karma right now and the scales are being balanced and a divine timing is here with the justice card so somebody could be a aries a libra a taurus a scorpio i think i said that earlier how much time i just all right so let's pivot let's see hold on let's i'll clarify this a little more and then i'm leaving clerk clarify the lovers in this um courtship It says too much and unlovable. So this person is somebody with too much because polyamorous is too many people in one relationship for certain people. Not judging nobody. Somebody could be a, a Gemini here. But somebody is, whoever was tolerating this abuse is feeling unlovable. They feel like this situation has gone too far. 
It says practice radical self-acceptance and love yourself with all your flaws. I don't what is this sun, clerk? Shit. Getting hurt and judgment. Okay. It says all love comes with a risk of losing it. Don't be afraid to um, floss. Take a chance. So, yeah, you have to let this go. And there's judgment here as well. So, you have the Ten of Swords. You have judgment. This is over. Divine timing right there. It says need rescuing. You are waiting for love to save you. But you must stop waiting and start looking. You have to save yourself. Whoever's going through this, you guys have to save yourself. Nobody can't save you. Because if some, if you're waiting for somebody to save you, whoever comes save you, they have the, the capabilities of doing this to you again. So then it will be this person hurting you, you being saved, another person hurting you. You have to save yourself. You have to look within yourself and see the worth within yourself and know that you're worth more than this. And you don't need to hold on to this. If you see that you're in a situation where it's going too far and you don't you haven't signed up for it, you have to be strong enough to let it go. It says don't be too quick to count someone out. Be open and give them a fair chance. Judgment. So... I don't know where that could factor in. Or maybe it could factor into this person who hurt you, who didn't give you a chance because it was a breadcrumbing situation. It's like this person didn't invest in you. It's like somebody invested too much and the other person didn't invest at all. So this is this person's lesson who's over here hurting, having to look themselves in the face to learn to give people a fair chance and stop being guarded. Says you are lonely because you are so aloof. Trust others and let them into your heart. That's a message within of itself. So if you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. But this is why this is happening to you because somebody invested too too much and then somebody didn't invest enough. So the person who invested in this too much in the beginning, they will be hurt like this. And at the back end, they're going to be healed. And the person who didn't invest will now start to see how false they were. And all of a sudden, uh, they're going to have epiphany, and then they're going to be broken down. That's just how the cycles go. But both, both ends have to learn from this. I was about to, what time is it? No, I got to go. I was about to tell you, there's four signs that go, that's going to go um, go back to the past and try to get with a relationship, and whether for the good or the bad. But if you do that, we is Scorpio season right now. We just came off the comic wheel. Which means Scorpio season is the brand new season for the comic world. Because Scorpio season is all about emotional upheaval. So I know people are paying right now. They are feeling it on top of feeling it. Because we just came out of a full moon in Aries. In Aries season. So, yeah. I'm going to Pow 2. Till next time in Tarot Land. Pow 2. If you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. And hopefully when you see this reading... It's useful to you if you're here for gossip, entertainment, whatever you're here for, hopefully you get it. The title today is, Why Is This Happening To Me? So, aka you. So, take what apply, leave the rest. And shout out to my subscribers, no old, for coming through, supporting the channel, watching the videos. I appreciate you. Uh, you see how that came out? <laughs> like, I appreciate you. That was Ebonics, man. I appreciate you. So, I'm a linguistic sometime. I make up my own words. So, that was... A bit much right there but if you're a visitor welcome returning visitors welcome back so i'm gonna give you your message from your card because i pulled out cards for um you guys that i use with the doors so i'm gonna give you your message and then i'm gonna move forward with the reading it says sunset time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain fade as the sun light burns so it seems like in this Pal right here with this message. Some of you were going through a little romantic turmoil, a little painful situation it seems like, and you guys are over it. And now the universe is bringing you new love to you, new romance. So let's see about this reading, where we going with this. First card out is Great Fortune, and then we have the Privileged Lady. So the numbers 26 and 13 could be important to you. I don't know why I said 13, because this is clearly 12. 
But yeah, 13 could be important to you. 12 could be important to you too. Then if you see M and E could be important to you. You could be born on the 26th or the 12th of any month. The 13th too, being that I said it. Or your birthday could be August 12th or March 8th. Or with the great fortune, 6 and 2 equals 8. And 8 is all about power. And a great fortune is power. Power is one of the strongest energies there, a.k.a. money. Money is energy, if you didn't know, you know where I was going with that. And then one and two is three. Three is about growth. It's about being social. Somebody here could be a socialite or a popular loner. Or you have a lot of people who want to be with you. Some of you could live in a nice suburban um, area. Some of you have a, um, probably have a thing for watching Little Prairie. I don't know where that came from. But some of you could like Little Prairie. I, yeah, that was the name of it, Little Prairie. Yeah, I believe that's the name of it. Or you could like Westerns. Okay, so the um, second card out is Romance. And then you have Relax. But before we get there, um, it seems like somebody have a decision here. Somebody has a decision. And somebody's was cold and detached before, but it's like they want to come out of being cold and detached. They have a decision. So maybe this decision is in regards to you because it seems like a partnership here and then it seems like somebody here that's interested in you. So with this decision cards, it's like somebody have a decision to stay or leave. Maybe they have a decision to leave a romantic relationship and come to you because they see you are the better fit or they have a decision because they are single to um, give up their bachelorhood or their bachelorette hood and decide to get in a relationship. So it seems like somebody here, whoever is resonating with this, is stuck between, between two things and they're contemplating something. And it's funny how it says one of the cards is relax right here. So down here it says not compatible and love is the answer. And when these cards came out and I was looking over this... Um, reading I was like this is just a, a, a contradiction and then when I said that my guys was like look up and it says mixed signals so you guys is there some mixed signals going on there's somebody that's confused hot, blowing hot and cold and this is why this is happening to you because it seems like somebody's blowing hot and cold others of you you could be not compatible but with the not compatible it says you don't really believe there's a match for you you have an open mind or you it says it says have an open mind so I was about to say you have to be open-minded a lot of you are like and I didn't even realize there's somebody here there's a male there and there's female there but it's a border in between them and in power one is it seems like there's a border in between that situation too so some of y'all if you call to you should go over there because it's kind of resonating and what love is the answer it says love won't solve your problems. You need to work on being independent. So somebody here is codependent. You guys should definitely go to power one. It's coming across differently, but you should go over there. Or maybe you guys been over there. So shout out to you guys who've been to multiple pals. With this mixed signals, it says you don't let others know you are interested, flirt, and be approachable. So if you are open to somebody and you feel like somebody is handsome, like I'll use these two cards. She's nice looking. He's pretty, you know, handsome. Little, seems like he's dapper, have a little swag to him. So you have to flirt with him if you're a female. If you are a male, I don't know. If the female is quite closed off, nowadays guys don't like to approach females that are closed off. And if a guy is confident in himself, he would do that. But if you're the female, I would say for the female, if you're the female, you kind of have to like, I guess, be receptive. And that goes for the males too, because males could go around being cold and detached and females be like, I'm not talking to him. You all uptight and all this. And somebody here could have this energy where they think they better. They think they're superior. They have this uppity type of like, like a pole up in their ass. But it seems like it's this masculine energy towards this privileged female over here. Who knows? It could go either way, depending on who's the feminine energy here. However, you have to be open and receptive. With this romance, it says romance is romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. And with the relax card, it says find joy in the simple pleasures of just being together. So before you can be together, so imagine this person come up that you want to be with. And then you still stuck over here 
needing to work on being independent. That's not going to work because these ind energies here don't kind of seem codependent, even though this one is a couple and seem like they in love. These females don't seem codependent. This male doesn't seem codependent either. So whoever's codependent here, you got to get that together. You have to get your, your, um, your mojo together. You know, you have to work on your confidence and get secure in yourself and stuff like that. Um, how much time I got? Clarify this decisions. Why is this decisions here? And why is this happening in the pile too? It says the hangman is just crossing this. Not compatible. Isn't that nothing? The hangman, the hangman going to, um, clarify anything is going to clarify not compatible because not compatible is somebody putting up they 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 walls so with the hangman here at least somebody seems like they trying to take a deeper look at this they trying to look at the situation in a, another view somebody could have a family at home too i don't know for some of y'all y'all could have a family at home and y'all still codependent on that family at home again nowadays you got to be independent females like independent people it's not like back in the days where females want codependence no you have to be independent because when you codependent you get jealous you have jealousy issues you don't let your female fly you don't let your male fly you want to be under them you try to clip their wings that can't work we in the new ages of aquarian that don't work no more clarify this hangman and this um cult. well too many cards the hierophant and the devil yeah, somebody cultural beliefs. Somebody have to change their beliefs. Change them traditions. The devil here, let go of these toxicity too. You have to be able to control your toxicity. Somebody have a thing for little kids too. You got to come out of that too. If you're used to being with little kids because you feel immature and this is who you feel like you can um, relate to, you got to mature. It says the lovers and the fool. Somebody could be in a same-sex relationship here. And scared to come out? I don't know. Then you have the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. It says sweet dreams, plans, ambitions, and goals. But it's in a garbage. Somebody needs to start believing in themselves. Whoever this Knight of Swords is, this is Aries energy. This impulsive energy. This energy that's cold and detached and just like the war all day long and stuff like that. Yeah, that has to end. So, I'm about to come out of this. Uh, clarify this mix. The Knight of Pentacles now that have been the Ace of Cups. So the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups is immaturity. Somebody like to drink a lot. And somebody like to have um, wild sex, like BDM -S sex. And, and, and yeah, they like to sell sex too and pay for sex. And yeah, that, that, that. If you want these issues to end, you have to heal those toxic vices you have your shadow side you have to heal your shadow side the addictive side you have somebody have a sex addiction here somebody like to be tied up and, and stuff like that i'm about to come out of this um i'm going to pal three so if you have gotten something from this like and or subscribe and somebody like sugar babies and sugar daddies i was just told to open it up one last time so yeah you gotta heal that so going off to pal two like and or subscribe till next time pal three if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. When you see this reading, hopefully you could get some info from it. If you're here for gossip, entertainment, hopefully you could get it. Today's title is Why Is This Happening to Me, a.k.a. You. So, we're going to see what's going on. Take what apply, leave the rest. Shout out to you guys. To my subscribers, Noah O, for watching the videos, building the channel, interacting with the channel. And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Like I always tell you, Pal 3, you have messages in Pal 1, definitely, and in Pal 2. And I'm going to tag this song. So the song that I tag to Pal 3, listen to it if you're interested, if this resonates with you. So why is this happening to you? I'm going to read your message over here first. It says 1111. Shit, I didn't even notice that. I didn't look at it before you. So this is a twin flame number. I'm also going to um, tag um, what 1111 means. So it says numbers and doubles, synchronicities and two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. So it's right now it's time of confirmation to put your love out there. Be open to love. Stop like um, resisting love. So what cause you got? Imprisonment and lovers. So the numbers 29 and 15 could be important to you. You could be born on the 29th or the 15th of any month. You could be born on the 29th of 
um, June, or you could be born on the yeah, 29th of June or 29th or the 15th of any month. Now, this card came out, so it's boundaries. With your situation, why is this happening? Because there's boundaries, and it seems like it says hopeless and heartbreak. So you guys are hopeless. You're sinking in despair. Some of you feel like boundaries times two because this is boundaries and this is boundaries. Some of you could be in jail. Some of you could be separated from the person that you are in love with, the one that you feel like you deserve to be with or you have a strong connection to this person. Whether you're in jail or not in jail, this is how you feel. And some of you are falling apart and you're hopeless. You're sinking in despair. With this heartbreak, it says heartbreak is a part of human experience. It will pass. Now, I ask, why is this happening to you guys? It says because you're stuck in the past. It says let go of your ex completely so you can truly welcome new love into your life. And I was getting on power two about that. So messages is definitely in power two for you. It says free spirited risk and adventure. So some of y'all have to look at other possibilities. Stop being stuck in the past because obviously you wouldn't be heartbroken in a situation if it's meant for you. Not to say that things don't happen in relationships, but like being stuck in the past and not able to let go of karmic relationships is you only going to feel this more and more and more. It's just, it's going to be no good. I'm not going to even go down that. Some of y'all have the victim mentality. Yeah, act like you try to explain certain things to people. People don't understand you when people don't want to hear this. People were telling you to let this go. Some of you have one person that comes to you and you talk to them about the situation. They're tired of hearing it. It says abundance right here. So it says open your heart to receive the abundant love of the universe has to offer you. The universe is trying to bring you better love, but you still stuck on this old karmic love. And it may not be karmic. It may be something you have, you guys have done, whether it's you, my collective, or cross watcher that you have done. And now you have to move on. This is your karma that you have to move on from this person. This card here, body shame is here. It says you feel unattractive to others. Work on accepting, accepting yourself, your flaws and all. So some of you guys are insecure. Some of you don't have confidence. You have to work on these things before you try to get in a relationship. Because if you get in a relationship, you're going to sabotage the relationship with this type of mentality. Clarify this um, hopeless feeling. Why are they feeling hopeless? Even though I just said it, why is this happening? It says the hermit and the tower. So a hermit, somebody, a Virgo, is going through a tower moment. The tower moment is, is somebody walking away from you. Whether it's an emperor, your man, your baby mother, your father. However this play out for you. Somebody who is very masculine and have like big dick energy. It seems like the feminine is walking away. After they done built something here with you, they're walking away because there was a lot of competition and a lot of deceit. And the universe is calling judgment on this. So... Hold on for a second. No, I'm not going to even clarify. I'll clarify it with this. Clarify this tower. What is this tower? King of Swords and Four of Pentacles. Somebody held back from a relationship. Somebody breadcrumb a relationship. Now they destroyed and heartbroken. Go to power one because that's coming from power one. Till next time in Tarot Land.